హలో ఎవరి వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ ఉమాపతి డిప్యూటీ మెడికల్ సూపర్నెట్ మెడికల్ హాస్పిటల్ కర్నూల్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఆస్టియోపోరోసిస్ విత్ డాక్టర్ సృజన కన్సల్టెంట్ డెర్మటాలజిస్ట్ మెడికల్ హాస్పిటల్ కర్నూల్ హలో మేడం హలో సార్ మేడం వాట్ ఈస్ ఆస్టియోపోరోసిస్ ఆస్టియోపోరోసిస్ మీన్స్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ మెటబాలిక్ బోన్ డిసీజ్ విచ్ అఫెక్ట్స్ ద బోన్ హెల్త్ వేర్ ద బోన్ బికమ్స్ వెరీ ప్రెజెంట్ థింగ్ ఈజీలీ బ్రేకబుల్ so osteos means bone and porous means it will become more porous that is called osteoporosis yeah. and uh, what are the types of osteoporosis so normally the osteoporosis commonly affects the elderly population uh, as the age increases the possibility of probability of having osteoporosis increases so in normal human bone contains two types of bones the uh, outer thick cortical bone and inner thin trabecular bone so in osteoporosis usually there are two types type 1 and type 2 in type 1 the inner part is more affected that is the trabecular bone is affected and type 2 that is also known as senile osteoporosis both the cortical and trabecular bones are affected so the bones become easily uh, breakable so what are the symptoms usually it is asymptomatic so the osteoporosis doesn't usually have any symptoms unless a person sustains a fracture then it is identified for the first time okay so normally it is asymptomatic most of the people uh, with any other risk factor they will be identified as having uh, uh, osteoporosis okay how does it affect to health yes sir as i already told it is mostly asymptomatic and once a person sustains a fracture it won't heal normally and uh, it uh, it will cause more of the morbidity and mortality any person is uh, if a person is having any hip fracture if he got admitted in the hospital there is a 20 to 25% chance of mortality okay. so we should identify osteoporosis early where does it affect in the body oh the most common sites which are affected with osteoporosis are the hip bone the spine the wrist and the shoulder and less commonly ankle these are the most common sites which are usually affected by the osteoporosis what are the risk factors madam uh, as already told that the osteoporosis most commonly occurs in elderly population so age is the most important risk factor and we can classify the risk factors into modifiable and non modifiable non modifiable factors age is one of the factor gender female population due to many reasons like uh, low dietary intake improper exposure to sun these are few factors which affect the bone health and some of the modifiable risk factors are drugs smoking alcohol low dietary intake of calcium vitamin d these are the modifiable risk factors which can modify the course of the disease how it is diagnosed many people don't uh, know that they are having osteoporosis most of the people in india out of 100 people who are having osteoporosis only 20% are diagnosed as having osteoporosis as they are suffering with osteoporosis out of them only few people are recognized and treated and even though they are diagnosed few people they they are not complete in the medication are there any measures to prevent it madam yes sir as already told that we are having risk factors we know what is causing osteoporosis there are factors which can be preventable factors which cannot be preventable we cannot uh, change the factors which cannot be preventable but preventable factors are like uh, maintaining good uh, balanced diet which is rich in calcium which is vitamin rich in vitamin d and uh, we should avoid smoking should avoid alcohol and uh, proper exposure to sun from the sunlight we will get most of the vitamin d through the skin so exposure to d- this urbanization urbanization has uh, caused the probability of having osteoporosis more because sedentary lifestyle indoor more of indoor lifestyle lack of exercise these are the factors which we if we avoid we can avoid osteoporosis yeah. and is there any treatment for this osteoporosis madam yes definitely first we should screen basically lack of awareness people don't ha- don't know that they are having the disease so 
we when any person meets a healthcare personnel we should have in our mind that any elderly population especially women who are in their menopausal state uh post menopausal women and male who are more than 60 years of age or any person who had any previous history of fracture fragility fracture means fracture to very low risk injury in fracture from the standing height so in this kind of people we should screen for the uh, osteoporosis we should have a high index of suspicion clinically any elderly female more than 50 years of age if there is any uh, loss of height of more than 4 cm in a post menopausal women or any person having a very elderly elderly people who is having a chronic la- uh, low back pain so these are few factors we can suspect clinically and uh, we can diagnose through a uh, few investigations and also one of the test is dexa dual energy x ray absorptiometry so these facilities may not be available in rural areas but in cities and in two tier cities the dexa is available so it is a screening method screening method so these are the methods which can be identify the osteoporosis madam finally uh, is it a treatable disease or not just to know our uh, this thing yes sir it is treatable okay so first of all as i told that anybody any people they should take proper calcium intake so according to the recommended dietary allowance yeah. at least 600 mg per day through diet but in indian food there is it is not met through diet so if uh, their calcium is low they should take supplements which are rich in calcium and also vitamin d with proper sun exposure and proper exercise weight bearing exercise good lifestyle where we should avoid smoking yeah. alcohol yeah. these are few preventive factors prevent preventive measures and uh, we do have treatment Uh, for the osteoporosis like uh, uh, bisphosphonates anabolic agents and the newer agents like uh, rank ligand inhibitors denosumab these are the agents which are available for uh, different kinds of osteoporosis yeah. based on the patient condition if uh, uh, the patient may be having secondary causes for the osteoporosis like uh, diabetes uh hyperparathyroidism rheumatoid arthritis celiac disease these are the few diseases which they should also be under control thank you madam for your uh, you, yeah valuable time and uh, uh, elaborately explaining about osteoporosis thank you so much thank you sir.